morning, friends. It's Miss Sherry from Harold Zion Lutheran Church. And today I'm talking to you from in front of my fireplace because when I woke up this morning, it was rainy and it was cold. And I thought a fire would be a nice thing to do and bring me comfort because I always like to sit in front of the fire. Um, so today I wanna talk about something different than what I said I was going to talk about. Yesterday I told you I was going to be back and talk to you about Jesus praying after the Last Supper in the garden right before he was arrested. Well, I decided to push that until tomorrow and today I'm going to talk to you about Good Friday because today is Good Friday. It is the day that Jesus died on the cross. And I wanted to talk about the question that I always get when I'm talking about Holy Week from the kids. Miss Sherry, why is it called Good Friday when it was a very bad day for Jesus? I always get that question. And I even question it myself. So, I've read some things and I've been told things and I wanted to share those with you. Um, I was told that possibly it started out as Holy Friday and the word holy meaning good, which turned into Good Friday. I was told that it comes from the gospel, the gospel or the four books and they bring the good news of Jesus. So Good Friday perhaps could come from the good news that the gospel brings to us about Jesus. Um, I also heard that even though it was a horrible day for Jesus and those who followed him, it was good because Jesus fought sin and evil on the cross, which was proven when the tomb was empty. But I think about that first Good Friday. It wasn't even called Good Friday. It was just a Friday that Jesus died. I think about the disciples and I think about his mom. And I think about all of those people who followed him and believed in Jesus. How they felt that very first day when he passed away. Now if you have lost a loved one in your life, you would know that feeling. You know how sad that that day is and how confusing it could be. And I believe the disciples, they probably were thinking the same things that we think when we lose people that we love. Um, I'm sure they were confused. I'm sure they were crying and beside themselves and feeling lonely and empty and scared because they didn't know maybe if they were going to be next to be crucified because they did love Jesus and they followed him. But I think there was something else that they felt. I think it was hope. I think that they all probably had hope that Jesus and everything that he taught them and that he would see them again, and that he would rise from the grave. I think they probably were hoping that that was all true, that Jesus would do what he said. I think they were hoping for that. And as the story goes, and years later, we know that it was true, that that was hope, was answered, that something great came just around the corner that Sunday, that something wonderful happened that began our religion for us. Um, yesterday, the state of Pennsylvania received some sad news. The governor stated that the rest of the school year is closed. We are not going back to the classrooms, that we'll have to do our distant learning and homeschooling for the rest of the school year. And that's very sad. I mean, I feel sad for everybody. I feel sad for my son. I feel sad for 
you little guys who love your teachers because you may not get the chance to say goodbye to them and thank them for getting you through the school year. Um, for all of those graduates, all those um, high school graduates, college graduates, um, preschool graduates from all of our kids, preschool, um, the elementary kids that graduate into middle school and then the middle school kids that graduate into high school. I feel so sad for you all because you graduated. What an accomplishment to study hard, to work hard for how many years? 13 years for some of you and then eight years of college for others. You know, and then you graduate, and it's such an accomplishment, and you're not going to be able to celebrate. But I'm hopeful that you will be able to celebrate again sometime soon. Because even though you're not walking across that stage in front of your class to receive that diploma or your certificate or whatever it is that you graduated from, you still have a right to celebrate. It, it's such an accomplishment to finish something, to complete school after a long time. And you shouldn't be sad and have anybody take that away from you. So if that means when the, the distancing ordinance has been lifted, you celebrate. Walk across that stage in your living room or in your backyard with your loved ones and receive your diplomas or still have your graduation parties, but just push them. Good Friday has shown me to hope for something better that's just around the corner. And I would hope that you would focus on that too. That the hope that this will all end and we can celebrate your accomplishments again together. We can have those parties and you know, see pictures of you in with your diplomas and stuff. We're hoping for that very soon. Um, so your futures are still bright. They're still there. You just need to get over this stepping stone in your life and move on to the next one. So today, boys and girls of all ages, I want you to focus not so much on the death of Jesus today, but the hope that something good is just around the corner, and we know it is. Jesus proven that to us by his being resurrected from the dead. He proved that something good is always around the corner for us, or just a few steps away from us. So I want you to focus on that today. Instead of so much the sad part of it, but focus on the hope. And then tomorrow, I'll be back to talk about uh, Jesus praying in the garden right before he was arrested. So right now, let's just say a little prayer before we, we leave each other. Let's pray. God, we are so, so grateful that you allowed us to come together through this media again so that we can worship and lift you and your son up. We ask that you bring hope into our lives today and for the future. We hope that this virus will end soon so that we can celebrate life once again. We can celebrate our accomplishments and that we can celebrate the risen Christ together in church again. I ask all of these things through your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins. Amen. Okay, everybody, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good Friday. Bye.